Hello and welcome to Software2C from Festo. In this video I will show you how you can display trace recordings in Festo Automation Suite. I am using a CMMT AS servo drive for that, but the same applies to any other servo drive which can be configured with Festo Automation Suite. This is the trace display page which can be found in the diagnosis context. And as you can see I've recorded a couple of traces here and the first one is currently selected and displayed. In the list of trace recordings to the left, I can export data in different formats, rename my trace recording, delete traces or collapse and expand list entries, which can also be done by double-clicking a trace recording in the list. Below each recording, you can see the list of recorded signals. And if I select a signal here, you see that the signal is highlighted in the graphics to the right. Signals can be hidden and shown also via this icon here. And you may change a signal's color. And as you can see a little bit to the right in this area here, for each signal, an a y axis is shown. And if you need to save some space here, what you can do is select signals which have the same physical unit, like for example the position set point and its actual value, by holding down either the control key or the shift key and clicking, and then combine their axes into one. And our chain link icons have appeared with a number, so this is a first group of signals which share the same y axis. Now let's do the same for the velocity signals. And we end up with a second group of signals which share the same y axis. A further possibility to save some space is to hide signals which are not relevant currently. In the main area, in addition to the recorded signals, the trigger signal is shown as a dashed line here. And if you hover with a mouse, you can see the trigger condition that was configured for recording this trace. While you're in the editor, you can zoom and pan just like in Topology Editor. So to zoom, hold down the control key on your keyboard and use the mouse wheel. And for panning, hold down the space key and drag the workspace here. You can also zoom in by holding down your mouse key and drawing a rectangle. Holding down the shift key gives you a pair of crosshairs and the value on the y axis that is shown here is that of the primary axis. You can recognize the primary axis in the list of signals here via this ruler icon. If you need to change the primary axis, you can do so via the context menu. If I hold down the shift key while dragging and dropping, I can create measurement boxes. And by holding down the shift and alt key, I do a measurement on the x axis only. In the page menu up here, several functions are available. The perhaps most important one is the reset view function. This is an alternative cursor that you can enable, which provides labels for all the recorded values, not just the one of the primary axis. The flag button shows or hides a legend. And here, trace data can either be read from the device again, exported in different formats, or the trace recording can be started again. This comes in handy when you've got the page undocked and for example are in parameterization to optimize some parameters. Now you can easily start a trace recording from the undocked page. And this toggle switch to the right here provides access to what we call the simple trace display. When switching to the simple trace display, only one recording is kept at a time. So if I now start another trace recording and execute a movement, once a new trace record is available, the previous record is overridden. If you want to keep such a recording, you can also store it in the trace list. This was a video about how you can display trace recordings in Festo Automation Suite. If you like the videos, please subscribe to our channel and keep yourself informed. See you next time and bye bye.